Hey y'all, my name's Edbora Lemu. I'm a makeup artist slash content creator. I'm here today with Ding TV on The Glow Up. And today we're gonna be talking about my everyday makeup look. So stay tuned. Okay, with my everyday makeup look, my crucial thing I always have to start with is my skincare because my skincare is so dry. I am such a dry skinned gal where some others could be oily or combination so i'm going to be doing a skincare routine for dry skin and i'll be starting off with my moisturizer so i wash my face first don't forget to wash your face because very important and then i go in with my moisturizer and i'm going to be using the fresh youth um moisturizer and i just use a tiny bit this is not tiny but for me this is good enough and i really go in Try and go upwards when you apply. That helps with gravity later on when your collagen drops. <laughs> For my next step after my moisturizer, I go in with some eye cream and I'm using the Fenty eye cream. And this is really good for hydration. This is gonna help with your concealer in the future with creasing. And I use my ring fingers. These are your weakest fingers from all your other fingers. And this area is very sensitive. Also, your mouth area is the same type of skin. Just like that. Please, don't forget your sunscreen. Oh, this is gonna prevent aging. Don't forget, put a lot. A lot goes a long way for your skin. You might think it's a lot, but we need to protect our skin from the sun rays. Sunscreen does not help with getting darker. That's Let's get that together. You will still get a tan, but this is gonna just protect your skin from the sun rays and radiation and skin cancer in the future. So very important. More important than the moisturizer. Come on, this is already, look at the glow. Look at the glow it gives me. So I always have to do this every morning, just like that. And let's not forget our lip prep because we will be putting on a lip gloss after but I love going in with my Laneige lip mask because I don't like some chap lips I like me kind of juicy small lips <laughs> I got small lips but that is my skincare prep and then we go in with the makeup so for the makeup I only use seven brushes only <laughs> I know some people could use three four maybe even their hands a beauty blender I prefer brushes for a beautiful seamless look but um, blend it out beautiful look and I'm always gonna start with my foundation especially for a natural look and I'm gonna go in with my foundation from Fenty this is the shade 380 and this is really good for dry skin very hydrating and I usually go in with one pump for my day to day. And I'm gonna apply this everywhere with my stippling brush. Dance brushes are amazing. I love to stipple on my foundation with this. I just look like I've had flawless skin since I woke up. I was born this way. That's what we like. Same thing on this side. I focus some products in the middle of my face because I might have discoloration from my mustache from discoloration around your lips, your forehead with that texture, but I barely put on product on my forehead because the more product you put, the more texture will show. So I try my best not to put too much product on my forehead. Just like that. Make sure you are one even tone. Then I go in with my concealer. I'll be using the Pat McGrath concealer in the shade M18. This is gonna give me a little bit more highlights and um, lightness underneath my eye, but also give me some coverage. And I use a tiny bit because this is whew, full coverage, baby. And I actually apply it in the inner corner and the outer corner to give me that lift, but the inner corner because that's where my discoloration really um, is very pigmented. I just focus it there, that's it. And I let this dry a little bit. While I let this dry, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows. Speed up the process, right? And for brows, I'll be using my angled brush and a flat brush. And I'll be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. And a 
a little bit goes a long way. So I go in with just brushing my brows first and we're going for more of a natural look. So we're barely gonna put any product on. Cause we got eyebrows, right? And then apply this starting from the middle and the end and really cover up that end area. I have a scar so I don't try and do too much on the side because it will really be noticeable if I put too much product. And then this side, I do the same thing with a tiny bit of product. Just like that. And we're gonna brush this through. Give you that fluffy look. I have a lamination done on my eyebrows so I don't need any gel. And I'm gonna go in with a natural concealer shade. So this one that I put is very bright. But this one is more my skin tone. I'm gonna go in with my actual skin color concealer shade and we're gonna just lightly outline the bottom of the brow. Just like that. And it just looks cleaner, right? We'll actually do the same thing to the top too. Just like that. Barely need any product. And we look flawless. Not yet, but we get the point. Same thing on this side. Just one little swipe. We barely need any product. Same thing on the top. Hello gorgeous, so nice. We're basically done the base now because we just put barely any effort, barely any product, honestly. Now that we've let this sink in, we're gonna blend. And I just do my tapping motion underneath my eye. Just like that. And just look how bright and picked up my whole face looks so nice. Same thing on this side. Tap. Don't don't rub. Don't don't swipe. Don't do anything. But just tap. Just like that. Now we're gonna go in with setting powder, and we're just gonna set where we want to set. So where I usually set is underneath my eyes and my T zone because we usually get more oily and more sweaty on that area. So I just wanna focus the powder right there. And I'm just gonna tap. All the motions I'm gonna be doing after this point is gonna be tapping in and making sure the powder is in that area, just like that. Same thing on this area. We're gonna tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 like don't forget that. And do your weird faces because I always do my weird faces to get in those creases. And then my nose area, my mustache area, and my chin area is where I really put the powder and make sure I set a, a tiny bit on the forehead. And funny thing, I actually go in with a tiny bit of powder on the brows just to tame them and just so they're not like in your face. like that and that's powder my favorite part we're gonna bronze and blush and what I do for bronzer I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer and you can clearly see I eat it up I love this bronzer in the shade cappuccino I need a cappuccino right now but we're gonna use this angled brush you can clearly see it's on an angle and focus that from the ear to the eye, the beginning of the eye, the top of the ear, that's where the product goes. And I put this face just to help me snatch the look. Temples. And I tap a little bit on my hand so it's not too much product. Instead of blowing sanitation, please, COVID. No, let's not. Same thing on the side. Temples. I try not getting in the middle of my forehead because I don't want to put extra powder for my texture. So I just do the temples and my cheekbone. 
I usually don't really put any bronzer on the my chin area or my jaw line area because that's just extra product and for day to day my foundation will match perfectly so if you match if your foundation matches perfectly you don't need to but to each their own and because my nose is so small I don't really contour my nose but I go in with the extraness whatever is on the brush and I go in and just squeeze this brush and I just go because if I really contour my nose, it disappears. I have like a Michael Jackson nose. I don't have a nose. So that's all I put. And the access, I just put it everywhere just to blend everything. And we just look flawless. We want to look flawless, glowy. We want some J-Lo glow going through. That's why I don't put powder everywhere. And then for powder, we're going to go in with a cream powder, a cream blush. And then for blush, we're also going to go in to layer with a powder blush. So, let me show you. I can never open this because of my nails. There we go. Your handy dandy tweezer. Don't forget that. So we have our clean, uh, our cream blush. And with our cream blush, I can never say it so quick. I just use my foundation br brush. <laughs> and I'm just gonna smile. And I usually put it on my cheeks, on my apples of my cheeks. And that will give you more of a youthful look. But I do my apples and then I drag it a little up so it just snatches my cheeks. Don't forget to smile. And what I do with this is I also just drag it on top of my eye for that natural glow. Like eyeshadow, two in one, be like that. like that now we're gonna go in with the powder the same angle brush that we use for the bronzer the powder blush I ate it up too okay guys I don't actually eat my stuff it's just so good I do the same areas and this sets it that's why I don't need powder because putting extra powder on my face and that's just gonna make me look really really dry especially for my dry face if I want that JLo glow you know and then I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my nails let's go in with eyes for my eyes I still use the same products I use my bronzer and my blush for my everyday look but if you want to switch it up and use a palette, you're more than welcome to. I will show you what palette I have that I could use. I love using a neutral palette. And these neutral colors just go for an everyday look. I'm going to stick to my own day-to-day -day with my bronzer and my blush. And this is an easy way for you to um, try this at home too. So I just use one brush. That's all you need. And I go in with my bronzer. If you don't want to spend money on palettes and everything, you can use what you have. And I also just apply this on my crease of my eye. Just like that. And I just tap the axis off so that we're not bleeding and just falling on the face and just ruining what our work. Same thing on this side. Place this on your crease. This is like, I leave the house in like 10, 15 minutes. Like, let's look. If I'm not talking. <laughs> place a little bit on the bottom of my eye just like that and I still do that weird face just like that I feel like I got something in my eye and that's it then I go back in with my blush and I just apply it on my lids and this is just an easy trick to do for yourself so I love blush on my eyes. It just gives me that awake look. And I put a tiny bit underneath just to match the top. And of course, I'm not gonna forget my mascara because my lashes be booming with mascara. And I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. <laughs> and I just wiggle. I wiggle and blink. 
for that full length like that's just one coat you can clearly see how beautiful that looks got that a little bit on my lid i don't curl my lashes they're naturally curly but you're more than welcome to curl your own lashes the curler not a hair curler and an eyelash curler okay <laughs> Like the difference with mascara and no mascara, then, then, I look good. And don't worry about being not being messy. Like it happens, you can remove that. And I'll show you a trick on how to remove mascara from your eyelids. Because if I just rub that off, I'm rubbing whatever I worked on, right? just like that and a little bit of mascara on the bottom just like that and you thought I was done with my mascara I actually use two mascaras because I want beautiful long lashes and I go in with my Clinique mini eyelash And for the mistakes that we made on the eyelids, just get a clean spoolie, nothing on it, as you can see, and I just brush after it dries, make sure it dries. Can you even tell I made a mistake? Nope. Let's do the same thing on this eye. Just scrape off. And always make sure you make, like, always make sure, like, you let it dry. Like, I'll give you an example, okay? If you guys think that I'm, I'm joking, let it dry. You're gonna see. You're gonna see how this works. But let's just go in with our lips while this dries. For lips, I'm gonna go in with. Where she go? For lips, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Heat in hot chocolate. And this is honestly so perfect for just an everyday look, a glam look. This is like my go to. It also tinkles my lips a little bit. But I'm, I'm gonna lip, put a little bit of lip liner with my Fenty Unveil Lipstick. A little bit goes a long way. I always like to dab up my lip care I did underneath. And then go in and overline my lips because I like big lips. like that just like that and then I'm gonna go in with my lip gloss I'm actually gonna dab off just a little bit if it's dry go in with my fancy lip gloss put it all for my lips um, you will feel a little bit of a tingling sensation when you buy this it is amazing i love it i love big lips that's why i got some lip fillers in just like that let's put some highlight on i'm going to be using a little bit of the bare minerals but before that i'm going to spray my face with my setting spray alexa abby Topsha base, we love her. Just don't like her smell. Before all that, you remember this little spot about the mascara? Look at that. Look at Magic Happen. Like, can you even tell we have mascara on on our faces? Nope. Anyways, let's set our faces. I like to fan myself, activate the setting part of the face. But look at the glow without even putting on highlighter. Like you can just leave the house like this, but I'm extra, so I like to put on some highlighter. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my fluffy brush 
and a little bit of my Bare Minerals highlighter in Fierce, period. And just apply it on top of my cheeks. A little bit goes a long way. I don't like a lot of highlighter because that will give me extra texture. Same thing here. And I drag a little bit on my brow bones and the tip of my nose. And this is the final look. And ooh, I look so good. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to follow Ding TV on all social media platforms. Don't forget to follow me. My name is Edvora Lemma on Instagram and on TikTok, I love my sisters. Love you guys. Bye.